In the last 10 years, Snack has provided fighter training stack supplements to more than 20 world champions, including Mikey Garcia, Demetrius Andrade, and Caleb Plant. If you're ready to take your fight game to the next level, the Snack Fighter Training Stack is for you. You have a good chin, he has a lot of power. Do you have to be a little bit smarter with him or are you confident that whatever he can throw your way, you can handle it and still get to victory? I mean, we'll see how the fight plays out, but definitely I got a lot of respect for his power. He showed it, you know, like he's uh, he could, there's a lot of fights where he's losing the whole fight and he just has that one punch power that will change it all. So I'm definitely going to respect that. I mean, there's levels to, to power, you know, I mean, even I've been with, in with some big punchers over my career where I even feel the punch and I, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to bang with that dude, but definitely do. I got, I got the beard and, uh, you know, even if he drops me, I know I'm getting up. What do you think is the difference between you and him? Um, I, I think I got more dog than he does. You know, like I, I, I've, I've watched enough fights now and I see, you know, like he, he complains a lot and kind of gets away with a lot. And, and uh, I mean, he, do, he does, you know, do what he got to do to win. But, uh, you know, I, I never had anything handed to me. I never been groomed the way he has. So I think uh, I, I got a lot more to prove and I got, a, I got a bigger chip on my shoulder than he does. If he complains, what are you going to do in the fight? Uh, I'll tell him to stop bitching. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What changes did your uh, camp make to, uh, to prepare for this fight? Um, we, uh, we mixed it up. You know, I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm living out in uh, Mexico now. Uh, shout out to Culiacan, Sinaloa. Toda la plebada. Um, I, uh, I started out there and now I'm finishing in California. Um, Wood is usually a home for me now. Um, I always finish uh, camp with my, my team, Journeyman Management, at the McGirt Boxing Gym. Um, you know, it's, um, what I've done personally is just, you know, things that, that I haven't done in other camps, you know, uh, keeping my body guessing and, uh, you know, changing up the strength training, changing up the conditioning, um, you know, I'm I'm I, I'm ready I'm ready to to show out you know like I said I'm I, you guys already know it's gonna be a great fight I'm gonna come with it no matter what if he drops me I'm getting up I'm gonna be there in his face I'm gonna I'm gonna make him fight uh, but you know I'm tired of I'm tired of just being somebody who puts on good shows I need a big win. How's your body feel with all the changes it's going through with this training camp that you just mentioned? It feels good I feel I feel I feel comfortable I mean. You know, now it's, a, it's at a point where, you know, since I've never gotten the opportunities at 140, my body's actually already graduated in 147. The way I didn't want it to, I wanted to win a, a couple belts at 140 and then move up like everybody else. But I mean, the only opportunities I keep getting offered is at 147. So now I've had a, enough fights where now my body's kind of like starting to graduate to that so I could feel like I could see the muscle in my body. I could, I, I could feel, you know, like even as, as I'm approaching, like I'm still above weight right now and I'm starting to feel it like, like back when I'm at 140, usually at 47 is when I start feeling it. Now I'm, you know, like 156, 154 and I'm like, I'm starting to feel like I do at 47. I'm like, damn, all right, I guess I'm getting bigger. <laughs> yeah. No, no, definitely not expected, uh, not, not affecting none. But, um, if anything, I'm feeling more comfortable, you know, I'm feeling stronger, I'm feeling more uh, capable in my abilities, you know, uh, I think I'm, I'm punching stronger, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on power, because, you know, I know a lot of people know, like, I'm gonna, I'm, the punch output's gonna be there, I'm gonna keep throwing, but I definitely want to step it up to, you know, try to, uh, try to get that knockout. A lot of fighters, you know, they bring in, you know, a certain part of their personal life into the ring that gives them an edge. What is it about you and what you've been through in your personal life that you take into the ring that makes you a better fighter? No, well, yeah, like I said, I've never been handed nothing. Um, you know, like, like I said, it's it's like I'm already tired of my story. You know, it just getting the short end of the stick and somebody who's a great warrior and that that'll that'll put blood and guts all the time in every fight, fight in and fight out. I'm gonna fight you tooth tooth and nail. But at the end of the day, if I don't get the knockout, like it's like okay, I'm I'm gonna get a and, and you know I get I get a lot of people that just hit me up. Man, you won that fight. You won that fight. You won that fight. And I'm like. I know, but, but look at my record, you know, they just keep throwing these L's at me. So yeah, I'm just kind of, you know, I got a lot to prove in this fight. And like I said, it's a big chip on my shoulder where it's like, I'm, I'm, fi I'm fed up and tired of, of uh, getting the short end of the stick, so I'm gonna go out and take it. And that's what I have to do. Pretty much you're saying that there is no such thing as a moral victory 
comparing it a lot to like Mikey Garcia, they're praising him for just stepping up and fighting his fence and you having actually put up fights where people think you won. There, there's like a more victory for him, but not for you. Is that what, kind of what you're saying? Like there is no more victory? No, because I think uh, I think no matter what, you guys know I'm gonna I'm gonna put on a good show and I'm gonna make him fight. You know, like uh, I, I it's just in me. You know, I'll figure out. I, I always say I'm kind of like a chameleon in the ring, where if if something's not working, I'm gonna f find out something to to disturb you or, or to make you fight or make you uncomfortable or or, or make you you know look bad. And um, you know that's where I'm like, you know, I don't I don't want that no more. I want I I, I gotta do I gotta turn it up to where like it can't be taken away from me.